this. Let's get to Jason Whiteley with what all of this means. Jason? Yeah, Cynthia and Chris, that, that is the biggest thing to pass along. I've talked to several people this afternoon, the last 15 minutes since all this really broke, and that's the one thing they are sharing is that there doesn't appear to be any load shed. That's what they call it. Uh, that is when they have to get take load off of the system, turn off my power, your power, the power down the street, traffic lights, et cetera. That does not appear to be happening. So what is happening? That's the big question. We're making some calls right now to try to figure that out. We just got a uh, word from one of our reporters who just uh, got off the phone with some energy experts. And they were saying that about, this is an energy expert telling us that about a third of the uh let me get to the notes here, guys. About half, it looks like, of the energy created by uh, the electricity created by thermal energy, natural gas plants, et cetera, about a third of those are down right now. Now, they're down for a number of reasons, uh, including still being down from the uh, February winter storm, which is almost exactly two months ago to, uh, tomorrow, really. But I've gotten off the phone with several people, and they're not that concerned right now. Still, when you look at that graphic that we just had up there on screen a moment ago, that does, you know, obviously cause questions. There is demand and there's capacity, and those two lines are getting awful close to each other, uh, but it's not that abnormal of a day. It's not a hot day. It's not a cold day. People aren't using anything out of the ordinary. The bottom line right now at the five o'clock hour here, it looks like there are a number of systems that are offline. Uh, I just talked to one of the uh, state leaders just a moment ago, a uh, very high ranking leader, and he said that a policy advisor was notified about this um, just before ERCOT sent the tweet out. That gives you some indication of you know just who ERCOT is picking up the phone to let you know to let uh, know that how bad this is. What they are asking for though, this is important. They are asking for conservation. That means turn off things you aren't using. You know, walk around the house, turn off appliances, turn off the, the dishwasher if you have it going right now, the washing machine, etc. Because we don't want to get to that level where we have to go into one of the uh, energy alert levels one, two, or three. Of course, three is when we get to load shed. We're not even close to that. We're still at the conserve stage. And it looks like from what we're uh, hearing that we're not even going to get to uh, that level at all. They did warn that we might get to energy alert level one, but we would not get to uh, any type of outages, which is the most concerning. But we're still making calls on this, uh, Chris and Cynthia, and we'll let you know what we hear. Hey, Jason, I have a tough time deciphering those those graphs. Uh, from what you can tell, how much higher is the demand from what was forecasted and, and how long do they think we should conserve? Let me get back to that graph here. Uh, the, the the current demand is not out of the ordinary. The current demand, um, I'm looking at, uh, mine's a tad different on my phone here. So the uh, current demand is the is the green. That's the same as mine. And then the uh, uh, the capacity is what, what we're getting close to. We're about a thousand megawatts away. Generally speaking, Chris, you you know this from living in different parts of the country. Uh, as people, uh, you know, as the sun goes down, people use electricity less, uh, et cetera. So I wouldn't anticipate this lasting too long. What? is happening though if you have electric power plants that physically aren't creating electricity it doesn't matter what time of day it is um you know if, if you know capacity is not being put out there on the market then there's nothing to physically use they haven't given us any indication of how long it's going to last there is a call in about 26 minutes from now at 5 30 ERCOT is having with reporters we're going to listen in on that and make sure we update you as well all right, Jason, thank you. I can uh, share that on their tweet. It says consumers and businesses are urged to reduce their electricity use this afternoon and into the evening. Yeah, we're hearing that ERCOT is saying this demand is due to a, a stalled cold front over Texas. Right?